Hi, Don Campbell here from Expand to Web, and I want to show you how to make your Facebook custom Facebook pages comply to the new Facebook HTTPS migration that's coming up in October. So this October, Facebook is saying any of these custom pages that you have in on your Facebook page, custom page tabs, all the content on here is going to be need to be delivered through a secure connection. Okay, they're enforcing this to you know improve their security. They've had some people figure out how to you know, break into Facebook accounts and they're trying to, to uh, make the entire connection secure. All right, so how do you serve all that content securely? Well, first of all, you need your application that you're using needs to have be delivered from a secure server. With the Small Biz Facebook app, we do that for you. Uh, but you also need your content to come from a secure location. And what that means is your website that you're using, your cert, whatever your hosting server is, it needs to have a uh, secure SSL certificate with it. All right, so um, I use Bluehost, I recommend Bluehost. They have the ability, you just go into your Bluehost uh, login and up along the top you'll see a tab for SSL certificates. Um, they charge, let's see, it's, 30, it's basically $75 a year. It's $30 for the static IP address and 45 for the SSL certificate. That's actually a pretty reasonable price. Um, and they will install this all for you. So the nice part is, once you order it, it just gets set up for you automatically. You don't have to go through the hassle of you know setting up the cert, uh, and that's kind of a, a pain in the neck. So they do it for you. Um, once you have this, now you can reference your site with both HTTP and HTTPS and deliver your site securely. Now the one thing on Bluehost is has to be for the primary domain on the account, right? Because you can have many domains associated with your Bluehost account. You can only put SSL on the primary domain. And then once you have that, you can go in and make your changes. Now, um, once you have that installed, you can then go back to your Facebook page. And if you're using the Small Biz uh, Facebook app that comes with a Small Biz theme, you just go to your page and click Edit Tab URL, okay? And now you're gonna be taken to, to this these fields here. And what you're gonna do is actually enter in your domain. So in my case, it would be um, it would be like, you know, HTTPS, www.expand2web.com slash blog slash FB like. So that's my like page. And then I would do a similar thing here for my non-fans page. So um, the app has, you know, hey, what URL do you want to show to fans and what URL do you want to show to non-fans? And so this will be the welcome page. And basically you can see these have the HTTPS designation, which means they're served securely. So once I update this and go back to my fan page, you know, boom, everything's gonna be served through a secure connection. So it's not that hard to set up. Um, the only challenge is if you have a bunch of clients you're managing for, you are gonna need to get an SSL certificate for each of them, you know, if they have their own domain names. Unless you decide to go oh, with the other video I just showed you called um, using shared, uh, shared SSL certificates. So I'll link to that as well. Um, so you kind of have two options here. The one is free. You don't have to spend the money, the $75, but there's some caveats with it. But anyway, a couple of options. Please leave me, um, you know, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and I'll do my best to help you out. All right. Thanks for watching. Good luck.